Good evening. Welcome to a game of Warcry featuring semi-casual gaming with your host Nathan, and we also have Mr. Eric playing along with us today. Um, tonight we're going to be featuring the Legions of Nagash versus the Corvus Cabal. Um, we just kind of set up some general terrain. It's kind of pulled from the sh shop here, so there's no real official layout. Um, what we're going to be doing today is our layout here is going to be the No Escape. I am going to be the blue player, and um, Eric's going to be the red player. The drawn mission type is Assassinate, which is... You know, if the uh, you know, roll off, see who's the attacker defender, and defender's leader needs to be taken down, or if he stays near the battle edge towards later in the game, the defender loses, otherwise defender wins. So um, we rolled off, and I will be the defender, so the necromancer is going to be trying to survive the onslaught of the birds. And the twist is a grudge match, plus one strength for all melee or ranged characteristic of three or less. So it's going to be quite a bit of a bruiser here, so... Um, Eric, do you want to go over your dagger, sword, or dagger, shield, and hammer? All right, my dagger will be my two spire stalkers. Nice. And uh, that would be them within uh, attack strength of four, toughness of four, range of one. Nice. Uh, and that is my dagger. Okay. My shield will be my. Uh, the main guy. So the, the, the flying bird. The flying bird guy. And three spearmen. Oh, nice. And my hammer will be the... The leader uh, of the pack. Yeah, he has a name. <laughs> the name is going to be Shadow Piercer. Oh, okay. She will be the main. And then there is going to be two of the uh, Cabalists. Okay. Nice. Good spread there. And for me, it's alright, my dagger is going to be six skeletons with swords. I just decided to keep them all together this time just to keep it simple. Um, the shield would be the necromancer with the four spear skeletons. And my hammer is going to be the three spear skeletons with my uh, skeleton champion who has been decapitated because it stopped gluing on, so he gets to kick his head around for eternity. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and set up the board. We're going to do a quick shot to show you how the board's going to look with the people, and then we will start doing the initiative stuff. So, all right, let's begin. Okay, here's the deployment. So, with me being the blue player, I've got my dagger with all the skeletons guarding the center, my necromancer with his guardians, and then the slow guys in the back who will probably not be appearing in this game <laughs> <laughs> with uh, the his shield is starts over here um the two initiates i believe they were i apologize These are the spire stalkers oh stalkers excuse me um they will be starting on that board edge in the next round and then the third round the rest of the posse comes in on this table edge so um we'll go ahead and um, since i hadn't really planned this part out we can go ahead and roll initiative and then we can do the moves off camera and then talk about the aftermath so we go ahead and roll all six dice and you fir up oh. you first after you and one two three four double six go ahead and pull yours out and then i'll roll mine i'm not sure actually if it's supposed to use the black or the tan dice but we'll use the black dice this time so and three ones and three four five and two fours so, all right, we're going to go ahead and do first turn, and we'll come back after the end of the first battle round. Okay, end of the first battle round. So the um, the foot troops are, you know, I guess, Talon troops, since they're birds? I uh, don't uh, know. Okay. Kabbalists. Uh, the Kabbalists. Like Talon. The Shrek Talon. So the Shrek Talon used a double to rush over here, and got dangerously close to my necromancer. Um... The other three guys over here ran forward, and then I uh, basically created a shield wall. I uh, poked one of them a couple of times. Actually, probably all three skeletons attacked once and did two damage each to the middle one here, two, four, six. So he has two wounds left. And then my one uh, other sword skeleton got a critical against your Shrek Talon, so I did a, chunk, a good chunk of damage to him there. Um, otherwise, the Necromancer shot his missile attack, missed against the... Um, Talon fell back and then created just basically a body, a wall of bodies. So uh, round two begins. So your your two little guys hop on the table. So wherever you want to put them, and they can go up to three inches in from the from the table edge too. 
so it will be that way. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, go for it. So they are inside and backing up the Shrike Town. Wonderful. Ooh. Try to get my hand out of the way of the camera. So we're going to go ahead and roll off for the um, second round's initiative really quick. So if you would like to go first, sir. That's what happened last time, and look what happened. <laughs> All right, a triple and three singles. So oh, that could be pretty be handy right now for him. Now that his stuff's within literally striking distance. No pun intended. <laughs> and then I got two doubles and four singles. All right, so we both get one more wild dice. So here's yours, here's mine. And good sir, are you going to turn any of your singles into doubles or anything else? Or Let me go back to my... Of course. So, uh... I think... I think I will go for a double on the six. All right, perfect. So I have two singles, and this is unused. Okay, still saving that one. I will go ahead and... Hmm... What moves are you here? I'm thinking let's go ahead and do... I'll do a double six as well, and then I'll save my other one so I'll have three singles. So I'll go ahead and activate first this round, so I'll have a higher initiative. And um, oh, those little red X's will pull off, and we'll start with round two. Okay, different angle right now. So end of turn two. Uh, the Shrike Talent did something very scary. Uh, <laughs> so it was right here. He hopped up there. I'm allowing for the terrain so the Corvus can actually do stuff. So he hopped right onto here. And then he used his triple that he got earlier to bomb, dive bomb. And he actually landed perfectly right there where the Necromancer was and did 18 points of damage with the bonus attack and the additional attack afterwards. I actually thought I was going to lose right there, but barely, luck, luck held out. Um, however, because of the, the dive, all my skeleton spears were nearby and stabby stabbed him to death. The purple one did the killing blow and had enough to shuffle forward. Made me realize though that my, my necromancer is nowhere near protected. <laughs> I, was, I was pretty scared. So the rest of his guys basically escaped to engage and um, one actually got up here and the other one ran and dodged but my, uh, my swordsman got very lucky with doing a couple of crits and knocked him down. So I mean he's unfortunately lost three of his four guys. The, um, the two that appeared on the back end just ran over here to try and swing around behind. And I had one swordsman close enough to tie up one of them. Um, however, he's going to be getting the uh, the third band out over here. So we're going to wait till he gets back. We'll get that set up and then we'll roll the initiative dice there and just bit. So, uno momento, por favor. All right. So the um, hammer has appeared. The leader has come out. Hopefully I created enough of uh, sticky traps to keep him from getting my necromancer this turn. Um, let's go ahead and gather up our dice and roll for initiative. As before, good sir, I will let you get the first roll. Alright, double ones, double threes, four and six. Alright, go ahead. And we'll see if I can pull off a quad. Oh, I got a triple two, no. a three, four, and five. So, oh, that's a good question. So, um, we both have one extra wild dice again. So, you have two wild dice, I have two wild dice. Oh, that was a five earlier, three, four, five, and a triple two. And so, you I'll have. Spend one. So, you're going to make a double and then. Or double. Uh, I will quad it. Oh. Oh, that's not all. Well, you're going to make a fourth single? or? Oh, shoot. I thought that was another three. Okay. Oh, that's okay. All right, so my mistake. No, nope, you're good, man. I'm quadding it. <laughs> you could triple so it. I don't need a triple. Oh, yeah, because, uh, yeah, you're... No triples will work for me. But uh, I have three doubles, and I'm saving this one. Okay, so next round you'll use both one. and all that. All right. So I have an issue. The dance macabre seems so much fun. I think I'll just do it because just as a reminder, you can use a quad as a triple or a double, and you can use a triple as a double as well. Just so you know. So um. now he tells me. <laughs> By the way, as we remember the, the rules way, as we play, <laughs> oh, whatever gives me advantage, you know. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and we'll take a 
I'll actually go ahead and take a double five as well. I'll use up both of my wild dice. So I only have two singles, and you're going to have one single. So um, I'll still go ahead and activate first. So we're going to head into round three, Legions of Nagash versus Corpse. Come on, rambling, rambling. Here we go. All right, bottom of th or the end of th third round. Um, everything's so fast. I'm not used to this. This is my first time playing against the Corvus Cabal, and he's just disengaging, jumping over buildings, dodging all my skeletons, and he's he's not attacking the skeletons. He's just going straight for the Necromancer, who I used my quad to just give him a necrotic siphon, so one of my skeletons took two pips of damage. I, I think it was the purple one. I can't even remember now. So I think that one, I sucked two life out of him to give him some hit points back because his uh, leader popped up, threw a dart, and did crit damage for six damage, put him to one hit point left. So now he's up to three hit points, but the other bird's just looming overhead. That one's getting over, getting over there. The red X is actually where he actually is located. It's just kind of dicey terrain, and all the skeletons are panicking and running, trying to get back because they're just doing circles around my, the skeletons. So this is the last round at this point, and he has to do three pips of damage. We'll see if he can pull it off. Let's go ahead and roll initiative, sir. So if you would like to do the honor. It's a very important roll. This is extremely important. He wants a bunch of doubles, and he got a, one double and four singles. However, you do have two wild dice left, which you can then turn into doubles. But depending on what I roll, that might give me a chance to snag the uh, initiative from you. A triple and two, double, a double and a single. So I actually can't steal initiative, even if I use my wild dice to make another single. So um, you get to pick first. How do you wish to use your two wild dice? Do you want to yeah. give yourself... double my six? Mm -hmm. And I will double my four. Perfect. And... I mean, I could be cheeky and just use my, uh, you know, my dice to create another single to just be funny. But I honestly, <laughs> Roll up. you know, I might have to. I'm going to try it, and we'll actually, so I'm going to give myself a single. So we're going to be matched on those, so let's roll di one roll dice. High or low? High. Five and two. So Dang it. I snuck in. Okay, so, um, yeah, this will probably be very quick. So I'm going to... Just keep this interesting. We'll keep it on camera. I'm going to Necrotic Siphon. I'm going to activate my Necromancer first. I'm going to Necrotic Siphon for three off of this skeleton right here. Um, so that's going to be a three pipper off of his hit points. So he's 22. Goes down to, what, 19 now? For those of you at home paying attention. Give him one more. One, whatever the one things are. Uh Three damage done to skeleton number six? two. Yep, you need six, which you have a double six you can pull off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shoot my laser beam, necromancer beam, at the guy above me again. So first attack, hitting on uh, six sets, one crit for six damage, and that puts him, I don't know how many points, and then the second attack is another crit. So I got 12 damage off on him, him? on the bird above him. Okay. And that one, I don't know. I think it took some damage already. Yeah, he had six damage? Yeah. Okay. Six and what? So 12 more because I'm a jerk. And, 15. Okay. That's going to kill him. Okay, so he poops. Turn off the camera. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> I don't want to play this. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right. All right, so. And I... Uh, yeah, we could have moved the X's, but this is the last turn, and y'all, y'all, it's fine. So, so he has five inches of movement. Mm -hmm. Six oh. of five. He needs six to get there. Yeah, I thought you were just going to use your double to try and bird shot him with your uh, character. Yeah, I mean, yes. Okay, I'll do it. it. I'm All right. For this one. Yeah, if you roll six, it is game over right now. I really hope you do. I'd love to see that on camera. Just that'd be so awesome. A three. That's okay. a hit of one. That does one hip, so he is up to that three, so he has however many hit points. That is math 20. 21. So he's four pips left. 
and uh, your activation. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was just expecting him to kill him on camera. Um, I'm going to have this skeleton attack this dude here twice. So I don't think I can actually um, kill him. So I'm just going to do my double attack on him. And we have the plus one strength, so threes, fours, fives, sixes. So he takes four points of damage from that skeleton onslaught. Shadow Piercer? Yep. He has 20. Oh, oh he is. Oh, no, not the Shadow Piercer. You're a your little walker dude here. Oh, okay. I, I don't know what you call him. The, the one with the dancing sphere. That one. So he's a regular Cabalist who has eight. All right, so he took four, so he's down to four hit points left. Yeah, he hasn't taken any damage yet, four, so. Four four. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, your turn. I'll just. Um, hmm. Oh, you know, you you, you did the uh, the double six, but you didn't do any other actions. You should have. Your guy could have moved and done other stuff. I I apologize. So you could do that really quick because we just rolled for the the, the act ability. Oh, okay, guess what, guys? I probably I'm just going to clip this all out. <laughs> Here's Nathan well, I don't being. I know that he would do anything else. He's, well, there's, this is the last round. Yeah, I, don't I guess. Know what getting him in there and not attacking will do. That's fair. I guess. Okay, so that was just his activation. So that's fine. Um, I mean, long shot. I mean, this guy can go after him. He lost three hit points. So, I mean, I don't know how many attacks he has. But he could maybe try to kill that skeleton to get yeah, room for. I think he's gonna do his his shot. Okay. Oh, he's got. Okay. All right, go for it. So you're rolling one die. So I can get up to four on this one. Oh boy. Okay. Give us fours. Two fours. Two fours. Yeah. Uh, Raven dart on a six. Allocate the number of damage points to the fighter equal right. to the value. That's one die though, right? Yeah. I like to. Oh, you like I'm to roll one here. You like the. Okay. You like the feel. Here we go. Of this. I need a six. Ah, right, that's one more pip. All right, he's up to, oh, 22. He's got three hit points left. Oh, he's so close. I have one, and that can only do one now. So okay. I'm going to have to get in. Okay, so that's his one. He has one more action. Yeah, he's got two actions because that was a bonus action. Okay, so he can get in and attack. Yeah, does he, he what's the range of his attacks? It's one inch? He has one inch. All right, let's quick pull out the magic ruler. Let's see. Can he land there and reach? I think for I think, he can. I think for cinematic purposes, I agree to that. So he's going to hop down. He's going to land right inside there. He's going to make one okay. flurry of attacks. How many dice does he Do have? Do I have to roll for, uh, for your attacks? falling damage or no? Oh, sure. He can. Uh, he takes one pip of damage on your character. One pip of damage. But I don't think it matters at this point because you've got four attacks and strength five. So okay. Four. Oh, that's a double I need to yeah. keep. Four All right. Attacks. And you are looking for threes, fours, five, sixes. He does two damage each. So at least two threes will win the game. Wow. I see a four and a five. That's it. That is Eric. Game. Good game. The Chorus Cabal jump in and cinematically slaughter the Necromancer, completely ignoring all the skeletons. <laughs> because, good job, guys. They're literally just running around bumbling, but the Necromancer has fallen, along with that token. All right. So, what do you think about that? How that Your first loss. <laughs> Um, on camera. On camera, no <laughs> less. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I've I've shown uh, both Eric and then Cameron over here. We've been playing this, and last time I won all the games because I just I have really good luck. I rolled a lot of critical stabs with the spears because, for some reason, spears do a lot of critical stabs for me. So, I I don't know. But well, I was thinking since you started your channel, it's your first technical loss. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks. You win and lose the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, Eric. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, report. Please feel free. Oh, please. I want to do that. <laughs> God, I love this game. Okay, guys. Now, like, subscribe, comment, all the fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good night.